Hey there to our 86 subscribers, our future subscribers, and all the people that secretly watch us without subscribing. Uh, today I want to journey together through the profound verses of Psalms chapter 73 verses 21 to 26 in the timeless language of the King James Version. These verses encapsulate the depth of human emotion, our struggles, doubts, and the unwavering hope found in our Creator. The scriptures read like this. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was prickled in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Now in these verses we witness the psalmist's candid expression of distress and perplexity. Have you ever found yourself in a similar place, overwhelmed by the challenges of life, feeling lost and foolish, like a wandering beast without direction? Yet in the midst of his turmoil, the psalmist holds on to an unshakable truth, the enduring presence of God, despite the chaos they cling to the awareness of God's constant companionship like a comforting hand holding on to theirs. Verse 24 radiates with the assurance of divine guidance. The psalmist trusts in God's counsel knowing that the Creator will lead them and eventually welcome them into glory. What a profound assurance it is to know that our paths are guided by the wisdom and grace of our Heavenly Father. Then in verse 25, the psalmist's declaration resounds, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. The, this resolute affirmation emphasizes that nothing in the world can compare to the boundless love and presence of God. Our ultimate longing finds its fulfillment solely in the divine. And finally, verse 26 encapsulates an everlasting truth. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Our human strength may falter, our hearts may grow weary, but in God we discover an unending wellspring of strength in an eternal inheritance and transcends all earthly limitations. Admits challenges and adversities who question our faith, challenge us with, where is your God? We stand resolute, fortified by the unwavering knowledge that God is our refuge and strength. Let us find solace in the words of the psalmist. In times of uncertainty and hardship, may we turn our hearts towards the divine, finding comfort, renewal, and unwavering hope in God's abiding love and presence. May these verses resonate within us, guiding us through life's complexities and reminding us that our ultimate strength and solace lies in God alone. And before I wrap this up, I just want to say that I hope you will all be blessed and be, become a blessing to others. Try to find ways to give blessings to people, you know, wherever you go, and um, and in turn, the, just giving somebody else a blessing will bless you, you know, and um, life can only get better when that happens, right? <laughs> I mean, we'll all have our ups and downs, but um, in the end, it will get better. And anyway, um, hope you like this message it's short and simple and sweet and whatever <laughs> but um yeah thank you for watching please like subscribe comment share and i will be back someday soon thank you bye let me pose real quick the spotlight saw me take a picture okay I'm the man of the year, how this dude I see is the man in the mirror. Hey, this 
to a shit in a deaf man's ear, but the deaf man sees.